Hi everyone, this is Sharon. Today I'd like to share with you a flip through of a journal I just completed. This one is kind of a mixture of, I would say, school themed and nature themed journal. Um, it's got a lot of uh, autumn colors in it as well. So kind of a, a little bit of an eclectic mix of things. For the cover, I used this old reader from 1903. And for the tie, I use this gray, kind of a cotton string for the tie. And then on there, I hung this garment tag and this optometrist lens. And it contains five signatures, about 100, 100 pages. Um, I had to expand the spine on this one like I usually do on a lot of mine where I use books. So what I did was I picked this uh, wool fabric, which I just love. It goes with all of the beautiful fall colors. And I glued it to the original spine and then I also stitched along the edge to put the two pieces together. And that wraps around to the back side. It's got this pretty motif on the front as well. Um, take the tie off. And then going inside. For the inside covers, I used um, some scripty kind of images. So here, this is a, a kind of a workbook handwriting page. Tom and Nora write their names. I thought that went well with the front cover or the front page. In this side talk, I've got a couple of vintage items. Here's a remnant from a French map. And then I also pulled this sheet from a ledger book that I have. And I pulled the initial of the person I made the journal for. This is a custom order. I've used a number of the original book pages in here. And like I said, lots of nice fall colors and images. Here I created a side flip and that opens up in the back. You can write on, that's a good eyed image. And in there I tucked this picture of the school children. I absolutely love this photo and I love old school photos. This one is uh, fifth and sixth graders from 1934, but if you look at all their little faces, they have some really nice expressions on there. And then I also tucked in there the original title page of this book. And like I said, it's cut dated, uh, published in 1903. Here I folded the page in and punched the side of it and then folded the bottom up and I added this wool fabric on the top of the pocket. And then in there, I've tucked a couple of pieces. I've got this large journaling card. And then I made this little card. It's got this image of a railway station. And I used one of these metal pointy clips that I have. I really love those. And I just um, clipped this scripty piece onto the back of the card. So it just provides some additional writing space. On this page, I created this little cluster with some um, linen pieces, uh, cheesecloth, uh, this couple sheets um, of 1970s ledger paper. And then in the center of the signature, I've got two pockets and I backed these pages with this image of a, like a sampler book from TaylorMade Journals. And then in each of the pockets, I inserted some tags that I made. And then on this pocket, I've got this tag that I made. This is a, a kind of a snippet from an 1800s um, local newspaper. And it's got the most beautiful scripts and fonts in there on the advertising. So I've got a number of those pages that I've just kind of mod podge onto paper to keep
keep them from falling apart. And then there's room to journal on the back. And then I also created this faux envelope from graph paper, so there's room to write in there. Here's a shorthand book page, and then this is a book page from a college zoology book. And I just uh, folded the side of the page in and did some stamping along there. On this page, I clipped this full calling card that I made. And I really love to back these with a piece of ribbon. I have an original one that was made that way and I, I like to do that now. I think it just adds a lot to the piece. And then I backed that with some graph paper so you could write a verse or a note or something on there. Here I created this top tuck and in there I've got a couple of pieces from an old 1940s high school yearbook. Here I created a top tuck and I embellished that with this edge of a, a punched page. And in there I've got this old um, telegraph postcard. I don't know, there doesn't seem to be a date on it, but um, it does say 190 something, so I think it's from the early 1900s. And then on this page, I've got a cluster with some paper and fabric. And here I've got this dangle that I made from just old remnants of this kind of scrappy papers and lace. And then I've got a vintage button on the top of that. And then I created a belly band with this old lace that I have. And under there, I tucked this little journaling booklet that I made. This is um, from the Graphics Fairy. It's a blueprint map of Queens. And then on the back side, I have this picture of these nibs, pencils, and writing utensils. And then on the inside, I've just got some pages in here that can be used for writing. Some ledger paper. This page is made from a, an old French workbook. And then I've got a shallow pocket here with this take in there that I made. Here I've got an Edith Holden book page. And I just attached this little side tuck made from an old photo from 1946. Just a little seam binding ruffle that I added along the side there. And then here I've got another flip out. Some Tim Holtz paper. And in there I've got this tag with this CPAC image and a piece of Cambodian currency. I don't even know if it's, I'm assuming it's not good anymore. <laughs> and then on this side of the page, I made a couple of tucks on the top and the bottom of the page to tuck this in. And I just created this little file folder, lined it with some decorative paper. There's room to write on this side. And then I just added some vintage tickets in here. And then on the strings of the signature, I just added a couple of book page remnants that I stamped. I got a little side tuck. And then in this pocket, I've got another tag that I made. I've got this really old trim on the top. And then here's the other side of that lace belly band. And under there, I tucked this vintage lotto card that can be used for journaling. And then I've got this old um, airmail. I'm not sure how old, but it's vintage and it's an envelope. And I just embossed that and added a piece of old book page in there that can be used for journaling. On this page, I've got this vintage library book um, checkout card folder <laughs> or envelope. And in there, I've got the original 
um, checkout card. It's the last date on there is 1955. And then I've just added another library catalog card in there and that can be used for journaling as well. And then I use, put, uh, glued that in like a talk. So behind there, I've also got this tag. On this page, I created a flip out with this um, vintage envelope. And then in the envelope, I have this journaling card. And then on the page, I just tacked on this little cluster of pages that can be used for writing. This is an old calendar page from, I believe it's the 1940s. And then onto that, I created a flip out with this vintage um, embroidery page from a uh, French embroidery catalog. So that just folds out. And then in there, I tuck this journaling card. This is some vintage wallpaper on the back. Here I created a side tuck and in there I've got a little flash card and this botanical book page. And then this page has this pretty bird image on it and I just have this little piece of linen on the top that I stamped with a same pool stamp. And then on this side of the page I've got another flip out with some eco dyed uh, paper image on there and then this flip out whoops this way and I stenciled that but you can still use it for writing and I just attached some vintage tickets to that this is what the back side looks like on the top of this page I have this little cluster with a wax seal and some cheesecloth and wool On this page, I did something a little bit different. Um, I took this beautiful fall photo and I cut it in two and I created these two pockets. So there's one here and one here. And then I just inserted these two journaling cards and set them up so that when you put them in together, it puts the picture back together. <laughs> so this is what this one looks like. I've got a little pocket on the inside, some place to write, and I just added this little tea card in there. And this is some um, Tim Holtz wallpaper paper. And this one's similar. Put a card in there. On this page, I have this zoology book page with this bird on there and I just created this um, belly band with this feather it's on um, vellum but it's an image of a feather and I just think that looks kind of cool with the bird here I did a little stenciling with some stencil paste and then on this side of the page I have this flips out for some writing room and then in there I tuck this tag I used a piece of wool for the tab on the top. Here I created a corner tuck with this nice fall image and I just kind of trimmed it with this punched edge paper. And then in there I've got this picture. It says library on top and it says the workshop summer of 1931. This is an original photo. And then I also tucked in there an original book page from a rather large <laughs> bookkeeping book that I have from the 1800s. It's just got some really nice script and printing on there. Here I created a little tuck um, with this tag and I just put it in sideways and stitched it in and added some string on there. This flips out, 
and there's some writing room, place to tuck things under there, and then I've also clipped in. This is a piece of homework that I found in one of my old school readers. It's dated 1934. And then this is kind of a neat piece. I've got this old ledger book, or it's really a receipt book, I guess. It says Hudson Bay Railroad, Railway. And it's, it's a receipt book, but on the back, someone did all of their homework in that receipt book. It looks like some kind of geometry homework or something. But it's written in some really nice handwriting. I thought it was kind of cool on this side. It says, sit and then walk down Lover's Lane. <laughs> On this page, I took a piece of string and tied in a couple of pages. This is from a botanical book that I have. And then I've got some writing paper in there as well. And then over here, I created this tab. And in there I used, I went through my old um, brads and there's this vintage one in there with this little copper ring on it. I thought that was really cool cooking something from there, I guess. On this page, I just added a label on a label. And then in this pocket, I've got this little card that I made and I just attached a button to it. It's made from a, a portion of a time card. I like all the punches on there. And then this is a little coin envelope with a small tag in there. Another Edith Holden book page with a squirrel. And I've got a couple of buttons on these strings. And then over on this side, I've got another tag with a, from the um, time card. And then another little envelope with a pretty tag in there. Here I used this beautiful old linen fabric for the pocket and I added some cotton fabric that I have on the top and then in there I've got this sheet. It's called filigree but it's got these really pretty filigrees on there. <laughs> and then on the back I stenciled that and added a stamp. It's got a lot of room to write on the back. Here's one of my favorite school-themed images from the Graphics Fairy, and I've got that set up as a flip out. So I've got some vintage papers on the back, and I punch the side of it. This is what the full image looks like. And then in there, I tucked this little document keeper that I made. I've got some dark green twine on there. And the back of this, this folds out, it's got um, a bunch of papers inside for writing, but the back is actually a vintage stock certificate that's been canceled. It's really pretty. It's got the seal on and some really ornate things on there. Nice writing. And it's from, I believe, the early 1900s, 1907. And I clipped that up with these old brass brads, and then in there I've got some papers. I did a little stenciling on this one old ledger paper. On the other side of that certificate. On the front of the signature, I created this little kind of a belly band. It's a, a full leather strap that I made from some hanging um, file folders. And I have a tutorial. Um, I'll put that, I'll link that below on how to make this full leather. I think I've linked that a couple of times before. Um, and I just put some brads in there to hold that in. And then behind there, I tuck this little floating pocket sort of a thing. And in there, I just added a few pieces of fun ephemera.
This page has this um, schoolhouse scene. And then here's a pocket that I created in there. I've got these old reading book pages. This is Robin Redbreast. And this one is Little Bo Peep. One of the original book pages. And then here's a, a Tim Holtz vellum. Just punch the edge of that page. Here I've got a top tuck, and in there I inserted this little folder. So what the back looks like. And then in these little side tucks, I've got some vintage ledger paper. And on this side, I've got another page from that botanical book that I have. And this is what the inside looks like. Some dress trimmings. On this page, I added these two uh, monogrammed letters, and those are the recipient's initials. And then in there, I created this little trifold. It's made from a vintage piece of wallpaper, and I added this metal piece on there. And then I added this picture of a library, or it's a kind of music conservatory image. And then on the inside, I tucked another school class picture and then there's some room to write on the inside here i've got a couple of pockets and i just inserted some um, extra scraps of paper that can be used elsewhere some music paper ledger paper some of this vellum And then on this page, get the scripty page there. And then I created this journaling card, these pretty fall birds on there. And I used a piece of vintage music paper. And then on the inside, I just put this old index card for writing. On this page, I did something a little different again uh, to create the corner tuck. I took again some of these uh, full leather straps that I made and I just intertwined them and kind of wove them together with each other and then stitched them on the ends so they would stay down and then that just kind of creates this little tuck here where you can tuck things in so I've got this old photo of this girl and then I also have this journaling spot that I made and it's made from a vintage telegram and this is what the back looks like. Here I created a fabric flip with this really old French fabric. I just added this little patch in here with a rusty pin. And then on this page, I really had a lot of fun making this little journaling card. It's made from a library catalog card, but I finally remembered, I've been meaning to do this for a long time. I took one of my vintage photo slides um, and I opened it up. I kind of pried it apart, took the um, negative out that was in there. And then instead I inserted this um, print that I'd had on vellum and this is an, an Artie Mays um, freebie of a moth. So I printed that on vellum and I glued that to the back side. I trimmed around three sides because I didn't want to lose this printing. And I just used some Tim Holtz um, washi tape. And I did not put the whole thing, glue the whole thing back together. I wrapped it around the back side of the page. So this is the back side of the, the slide. And then again, I added some washi tape. And in this window, I inserted just a number so it kind of looks like a specimen slide sort of a thing again I didn't want to lose the printing on the top and the date from 1965 and then I also created on the back side this vellum pocket that I stitched on and I used these moth images again and then I just added some scripty papers behind there because they look nice through the vellum and then I just tied a little ribbon on there 
And then on this side of the page, we've got the other image side of that schoolhouse image, and I've got a little flip out. And then I've got these very narrow pockets on there, so I created some very narrow tags. And these are also fun just to add a little verse or quote or thought on there, thought for the day. That's this one. And that takes us to the back page. And then I just added this really pretty scripty image for the inside back cover. So I hope you enjoyed that flip through today. I am working on several other journals right now and am getting excited to start on some Christmas journals. So stay tuned. I hope to see you soon. Until next time, bye-bye.